What's going on guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video and guys in this video I'm doing some live ladder pushing with the best ladder deck in Clash Royale right now for the new Clash Royale season The prince and the princess are both boosted to king level So guys take a look at the deck over here It's prince bait with the log and the rocket and with the prince being boosted for this whole season this deck is looking really nice for ladder right now i'm still working on the log with 14 out of 20 and the rascals are also pretty close with 3,000 out of 5,000. but guys enough talk for now let's take prince bait and swipe over to the main ladder screen we're at 55 15 right now on the first day of the season so let's just hop into a live ladder game right now guys with prince bait and leo is going to be the first opponent and guys this season they did a new ladder reset where you only went down like a quarter or a third of the trophies usually you go down half of them and so usually if you're at like six thousand you go down to five thousand so you go like halfway to four thousand but this season they did it um where i'm not sure how the math worked out but guys everyone started with like a little bit more trophies this season so this is definitely the season where um, we can all go for like our personal best in trophies There's gonna be a little bit of trophy inflation um, This season guys, but okay, we're gonna go with our goblin gang here Get into this game a little bit and yeah guys, he's gonna have balloon. So wow um, And I'm thinking like man did this dude just did this he's gonna go balloon rage But he's not gonna have anything for the other side So I guess this is just he just decided to tower trade and he's still gonna have to defend that though if he doesn't want to get three crowned and the prince is coming in doing so much damage yeah there's the e-wiz um we're definitely just gonna go with rascals here and keep our princess alive because guys he went balloon rage out of nowhere and we got to be ready with the rocket though if he goes balloon rage from now on princess gonna get a little bit of damage and this prince should take some damage here before it comes to my side I think we're gonna go with just a log though here and yeah we're gonna go with the log when it gets close and then we can always prince but I think I'm just gonna wait it's okay if that gets one hit um, we can go with just like an inside goblin barrel here maybe see if we can get a little damage for the three crown and he's gonna have an inferno drag so guys this is a pretty weird deck by this guy but I guess I'll cycle a goblin gang just want to be ready for his next balloon and yeah there it is gonna go dark goblin here and then rascals and wow he's gonna go balloon rage fireball so he will get a hit there guys but that just took him 11 elixir and i think we just need to go for the three crown here honestly yeah he is on his back foot right now guys and we can go with like a princess and a log here and go with another goblin barrel and the e-wiz is gone the prince hopefully can get on that okay couldn't get on his king tower a little bit but Guys, we gotta play good defense here. We gotta definitely rocket this balloon. And yeah, I was expecting the rage there. So good thing we hit that Inferno Drag too. And guys, that was actually a huge rocket. So we can go with Rascals here to make sure we block our tower from anything in the pocket. I don't know like what he would place in the pocket. But yeah, I, I kind of forgot he had Fireball to be honest. But yeah, we're gonna go with our Dart Gob here. He has Goblin Gang, I know. And he's probably gonna want to play that here for the Prince. So we'll make sure we go with our goblin gang and yeah that's gonna work out really well we can go with a goblin barrel for the three crown go with rascals and ooh maybe log the e-wiz real quick get that out of here guys we're definitely up a little bit of elixir and i just want to keep destroying whatever units he places and get rid of this inferno drag and yeah that's gonna work out nicely we can always go with a goblin gang here on this prince if he balloons here and yeah, there is the balloon. We'll make sure we rocket that right away and just make sure he doesn't even get death damage. And ooh, can we rascal block here? No, guys, his spear goblins, his goblin gang just did so much damage. And we're down to 356. Huh, guys, can we start chipping away at this tower or is it too late? Um, we can go goblin barrel here and then maybe prince and goblin gang the pocket. And yeah, we're gonna get some damage here, guys. Hopefully, we can come back and win this. <laughs> Look at the goblin barrel. Guys, he didn't have an answer for the goblin barrel and because he fireballed so aggressively and we're gonna get a crazy comeback win right there. I was definitely going for the three crown way too much and if I had just gone for his second tower, I think I would've won that game a lot easier, but that was still a crazy win, guys, for the first game of this video. We'll see if we can get closer to 5,600. 
And yeah, guys, I honestly, it, it was looking like I was going to lose that game for most of Double Elixir, but we were able to defend his balloons just enough. And guys, this guy's going to go with a skeleton barrel. I can't tell you guys, I can't even begin to explain how many skeleton barrels I've been seeing lately on ladder. It honestly seems like every other game is, is either Goblin Barrel Skeleton Barrel or Mega Knight Skeleton Barrel. And guys, it's just really getting old at this point. This is looking like Mega Knight Skeleton Barrel. <laughs> And yeah, guys, just as I say that, you've got to be kidding me, Clash Royale. We can go with our Prince here, though, and then Goblin Gang. And I'm Goblin Ganging because we got to make sure we take out his Spear Goblins and his Mega Knight. And we're going to be able to do that there. So we're going to leave his Magic Archer. But guys, Goblin Barrel Skeleton Barrel. Or no, this isn't Goblin Barrel Skeleton Barrel. Mega Knight Skeleton Barrel. And that's good because if it was Goblin Barrel Skeleton Barrel, I don't think I would have any chance of winning this because... I have the log, but yeah, we can always use the dark goblin against the skeleton barrel, and then I'm just going to log here to make sure. Yeah, I had a feeling he was going to zap again because he did it last time, and the goblin, um, ooh, he is going to get those spear goblins in there. So, I think he probably has a zap, though, if I'm, or he already used his zap, so he's going to have to do something else here, and yeah, the hunter there is going to be a little bit late and a little bit off. So, guys, we've already brought this back to a very manageable game. And if he wanted to Mega Knight there, wow, he has Royal Hogs too. But I don't know if that was a really good play on his part because, guys, his Hunter is gone. The Rascals are there, and he's going to have to do something. Yeah, he's going to have to go with those Bats, but I wonder, ooh, the Prince, if he had still gotten a hit there, would have been insane. And, yeah, he is going to Mega Knight right there, guys. So um, I'm just going to Princess here and then Dark Goblin all the way over here, and then we can ra uh, Goblin Gang right as he jumps and that was pretty unfortunate he caught me without um ooh, can we log here oh i didn't even need the log actually the log did help a little bit there um but we got to make sure we are ready with our rascals here yeah he is going to skeleton barrel but i think if we have two princesses down that's going to be more than enough and yeah the skeleton barrel is going to pop pretty early there so we're going to be fine Guys, Mega Knight Skeleton Barrel, it would be fantastic if I could find a way to win this game. We're going to go ahead and log here to keep these guys alive, and then we can go with our um, Prince right here. We can Princess in the back, and hopefully we get some okay timing on this shot, and oh no, guys. We did not get the timing we were looking for, and we're going to lose that tower, and his Magic Archer is going to come in and cause some havoc. Um, we can go with Rascals here to play a little defense and then go with our Goblin Barrel with a Dark Goblin and a Log at the last second to try to maybe do something. But guys, that's going to be a loss to follow up our crazy comeback win. Yeah, I was never really on top of the 8-ball in that game and sadly he was able to get a lead early and I just wasn't really able to come back but guys one and one on the video we've still gone up a little bit in trophies and hopefully we can follow it up with like another win or two here to end off the video and guys big daddy slugnut is gonna come in here with a baby dragon and we can go just wait a second with our rascals and okay hopefully that's not too early but yeah guys we're gonna go with the rascals right there and it's going to counter that pretty well. So I'm already feeling Golem, guys, with Baby Dragon and Mega Minion coming down. And we can Princess right here. And it's going to be a Collector. So it could be Golem. Could also be, like, Giant Sparky. And it's probably going to be one of those. But, yeah, he could also have, like, Three Musketeers or something. I'm going to wait here, though, in case he goes for the Golem. Because then I could really pressure him and try to take out one of the towers and yeah it is going to be golem so we're going to go prince goblin barrel because he just went with a log and yeah fortunately he's not going to have a skeleton army or anything right there so we're going to be able to take that tower very easily and then he's still going to have to spend elixir here so yeah we can go uh with the goblin gang first and then maybe rascals but he goes with the mega minion too so yeah guys we're going to be able to get this golem pretty low here pretty quickly and then I think we can still go for like a dark goblin over here and then rascals Yeah, I was waiting with the rascals because I wanted the boy to help tank and we're gonna be able to get rid of The mega minion and the lumberjack and okay the baby dragon though is gonna be causing a lot of problems guys We get a princess on the baby dragon right away But that's pretty much all I could do to try to take care of that and it looks like my tower is going to be standing at 142. So, guys, we got, like, half the three crown there on that first push, too. 
but I'm thinking about going aggressive here. We're actually going to rocket the three crown because the princess is on it too. And guys, this is going to take him sort of low. Yeah, he's going to be at um, 1859 right there. And we can just completely leave that E-Wiz because I kind of want him to go for a golem here. I kind of tried to predict it with Prince Goblin Gang. And yeah, he's going to go with the golem. Guys, let's go with a goblin barrel for the three crown. And his golem is already like two thirds of the way dead. So... I don't know if this is a good golem push on his part because he still has to take the other side. And if we... Ooh, did I keep the Dark Goblin alive? No, I did not. So that's pretty costly right there, guys. We can go with the Princess, though, and then get our Prince down, too. And, guys, I think he thinks he's going to take this tower right here, but that's not happening. And, yeah, we're going to keep that at 1582. So that's pretty good. He has to go for a push here, though, eventually. And, guys, I think we just need to go for, like, sort of the three crown, but sort of also just to kill the golem. And he's going to go with a rocket right there, guys. So he has golem rocket, um, but we're going to be able to take out that golem really easily. And then we can go with some pressure here. Go with the rascals. And okay, that actually didn't work out how I really wanted it to. But guys, oof, what are the chances that we win this game right here? We can go with a goblin gang here. Go with a goblin barrel. And yeah, I'm kind of trying to just like out cycle him a little bit and get damage with the goblin barrel and try to get rid of his golems here. That Ewiz is coming in the wrong lane. So we can go with Rascals here right after he just logged. And then... Um... Hmm. This is tricky, guys. We're going to go with Prince like this. We can always rock it if he has too many things together. And I think we are going to do that right here. Yeah, I was kind of thinking he was going to Lumberjack like that. And that rocket was insane, guys. Did you see that? Uh, we can go with a Goblin Gang. I don't know if he's back to log yet. So we'll just pressure really hard here. And yeah, he misses the log. And guys, is this going to be the three crown? There we go, guys. Three crowning a golem player is always so fun. You're beating them at their own game. And we really played well in that game. That rocket at the end kind of led to the win eventually. But guys, a great three crown win right there with Prince Bait. And that's going to take me to 5549. So guys, I say we go for one more win here to finish off the video. All right, guys, unfortunately, it took an L right there, but... I definitely want to end this game on a win. Yeah, I meant end this video on a win, but guys, we're going to try to win this game right here against Destroy, and yeah, we're going to try to destroy Destroy's Towers here with Prince Bait, and let's see, we can go in with our Princess or our Log maybe to start off the game, and yeah, we're actually just going to go with our Goblin Gang here on this Barb Barrel. So he has Barb Barrel and Flying Machine. Um, guys, I'm thinking it's probably Royal Hogs if he, yeah, and wow, the second I say that, again, I, I can't remember if that happened in one of our other games where, like, he had Golem or something, but we're gonna be able to counter that. We can go in for a Goblin Barrel here because he doesn't have Barb Barrel back yet. And yeah, he has to go Bats on that. Guys, can we Rascals here? And yeah, we do keep the Princess alive, so he's gonna have to do something here. I wonder if he has Fireball. But, guys, that actually is going to work out great for me, and we'll see what he does here, though. Uh, we got a good start to this game. He went in for his Bar Barrel first play of the game, so then we were able to get a lot of damage with the Goblin Barrel. We're going to go with a Log here. And, wow, that worked out great, guys. He went in for his Heal Spirit the second I went in for the Log, so... I didn't even know he was going to have a Heal Spirit, but he has to play something here on defense, or he's going to be in big trouble. He goes with the Hunter, but... Guys, the Hunter is not really going to be the greatest counter to that. We still get a hit with the Dark Goblin, and we're up a ton of damage in this game. I feel like he has Barb Barrel back, so we're going to go with this inside placement. And yep, there's the Barb Barrel. We get two hits with that Goblin Barrel down to 1126. We can just rocket these Royal Hogs. And wow, he went in for Bats 2 after, and guys, a Heal Spirit 2. He just spent, what is that, 8 Elixir? And I went in with the rocket, so we're going to go Princess at the bridge because we can easily get at least one hit here and down to 922, guys. His flying machine missed the Princess, so I'm just going to leave the flying machine. He can have a little bit of damage with that, and guys, we take him down to 310 right there. So we're going to go Prince here in the back, and wow, straight into the Royal Hog, so that's going to be pretty nice. We can log here too, and... Wow, the log is going to hit the heal spirit, guys. This game is going great right now. We can go with a sneaky dark goblin here, try to take this tower. And, wow, he goes with the goblin cage, but he is also going to miss that uh, goblin barrel. And we're getting some damage on his new tower. Going for rascals here with a princess. 
be ready with the with the log. We're going to log now. I feel like the heal spear could come in after. And he didn't play it this time. And our tower is actually down to 1,000. So we got to be a little bit careful here at the end. But we're just going to cycle another prince on this right side. And he's going to go for recruits. So we can just dart goblin here. Get rascals in to hopefully... Ooh, we didn't protect the dark goblin this time though. So that's not good. Um, I'm going to go for a goblin barrel here. Because, yeah, he used his bar barrel right there. So we're going to take his tower with the goblin barrel and... Guys, that's going to be GG. He doesn't have enough time to bring the Royal Hogs in for another round. So we're going to end off the video on a win. That was a nice ladder push, guys. I ended up going 3-2, and two, and we edited out the second loss because I didn't feel like showing it. It was kind of a close game, but guys, anyways, we're going to end up at 55-53. So I gained 38 trophies in this video. And guys, Prince Bait is definitely the best ladder deck this season especially if you don't have all your cards maxed the prince being boosted as well as the princess is just huge guys as soon as i get rascals to level 13 this could be one of my main ladder decks for the season but anyways guys hope you enjoyed today's video with prince bait which is in my opinion the best ladder deck in clash royale right now hope you enjoyed those battles if you made it this far in the video make sure to click the like button and the subscribe button right now doing those little things takes like one or two seconds but it benefits my channel tremendously and i really appreciate it but thanks so much again for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in a couple days with another clash royale video